Hi, Lou Agave, Long Island Lou Tequila. Please follow my social media. Today we have a new brand, Alma Del Jaguar. And this is uh, different, and this is cool. I like it. This is uh, the owner of this is Macaulay Williams. And him with Adam Foda, my friend, wanted me to have this and try this out, okay? Macaulay wanted to make a tequila. He's passionate about jaguars and saving the jaguars in the United States and Mexico. So a lot of the proceeds of this brand goes to that very good cause. So this is coming out of Ivanko, Nam 1414. We all know that up in Los Altos. Fifth generation estate. Okay. It's been established since 1929. Wow. And I was there and I love it there. It's great. They do a lot of really good stuff there. Um, Adam Fodor's on board again. Now he recently did a project there, you know, um, Vivo, which I loved. And uh, he was asked to help out with this again. So he was working with Macaulay, the owner, but along with Sergio Vivanco and Sergio Cruz. And all of them together put this together. It's unique that they use two different types of fermentation. All right. So this is how they make this one a little different. Um, so I want to tell you about this. First of all, it's Los Altos Agaves, like it always is. Stone brick oven. It's roller milled. And they use two blends of yeast. So they use the house brand Viva Mexico, okay, which is made with champagne yeast. And then they blended that with another distillate, which was fermented with all wild yeast. And that had fibers in the fermentation as well. So I'm sure that was Adam's idea. And uh, they're calling him in to come up with these creative ideas. And I like that. And then it's double distilled in all copper, the very small copper pot stills that Vivanco uses. They're not cutting any heads, which is bringing the fruitiness and the floral notes up front, which is pretty cool. I like that. They use deep well water, which brings up a lot of those minerals from that red soil in Los Altos there. It's unfiltered, which I like, and there's no additives. Look at the bottle. So I got to tell you about this now. It's all sustainable. Everything... Here, the cork, the glass, the labels. This is agave fibers. You imagine that? The label. So they got a lot of information on here. It's a beautiful label. Everything is sourced within 80 miles, I believe, of the distillery, the glass, the labels, everything. So Adam Fodor is the tequila expert and founder of the International Tequila Academy. Okay, down in Mexico. Doing great service to a lot of people. Smart guy. And we're going to try this out now and let's give it a shot, all right? By the way, this is selling in Texas and Tennessee at the moment. But don't worry, it's going to have an 18 state rollout coming within the next six months. And it's going to be more states starting in June so of 2023. So lots happening for them this year. The uh, suggested retail price is only $49.99. So that's a good price for Blanco these days, okay? So I think that's a good deal. And you can get that on the website if you look it up. So you go to the Alma Del Jaguar website. There's a third party that sells the bottles for them, I believe. And uh, that's a really good price. It's got a nice minty smell. It's, it's earthy and herbal. And remember now, you're smelling aromas from two different fermentations. The yeast is so important in the, the aromas. And you're getting different flavors and attributes from the both different styles you really are. I like it a lot. It's big and bold. Minty and salty. You know, between the two different types of yeast, I'm picking up all different things. You know, light nutmeg and uh, grassiness and light smoke. Honey, light pepper. Salty. It's definitely sweet. It's got like a citrus thing, like a lemon and uh, orange. Cooked agave, but so herbal. That's the whole thing. Really herbal. On taste... It's herbal, it's rich and deep, complicated, citrus, briny, salty, almost like a clove. It's uh, got honey. Even picking up like pineapple. It's got some nice floral notes to it as well. Light vanilla, but the minerals are there and the mint is there and it's very herbal. So, you know, a lot of that bold presence I really do think is coming through from the wild yeast, you know. So, uh, to Tequila Matchmaker, I'm going to give it an 85. I really like this. The price is good. It's going to be sold all over soon. Adam did another slam-up job, I believe, with the Vivancos and with Caesar and everybody else down there. You know, Sergio, Cruz, and everybody. They did a really good job. It's a worthy cause. It's really good. It tastes really nice. I like it. I'm giving it an 85. I think it's different. It's unique. I think the more I drink it, the more I'm going to find different things going on, especially between those two different fermentation styles. They're very unique and very different, and they're married together. You're going to get different stuff, good stuff from both, I, I suppose, you know.
Hmm. I like it a lot. So I really like it. I think it's delicious. I wish them all the luck in the world. It's a great cause. Delicious tequila from a great distillery. I think Adam and the guys slammed it out again. And I want to congratulate them. And this is Alma del Jaguar.